Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hedy. It is uh, Wednesday afternoon, July 3rd. I'm on at KOM today uh, and tomorrow because we have severe threat as we go through the next couple days. I'm still having some internet issues, but thankfully I should be getting a new modem. So that's going to help things out because I always want to make sure I have internet so I can do some work from home as well. All right, weather 2020 video, of course. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Severe threat today, severe threat on your uh, 4th of July, and then of course, what's the holiday weekend going to look like, and then we'll do a little bit of long range forecasting as well. Huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction, a four state premier roofing contractor. You can uh, reach out to Cole, Evan, and Carlos, they'll get you hooked up, the number's right there on the screen. If you have any roofing concerns or just want your roof checked out, give them a call. Uh, they did my roof about a year and a half ago. Also, uh, if you mention that you heard about them through me, they give a percentage to the Christian Hetty Foundation, which obviously I think is a pretty good deal. All right, so let's dig in. What's going on today are hot spots for severe weather, really from southwestern Missouri through south central Missouri, southeastern parts of Missouri, all the way up towards Cincinnati. And then again, a second spot for severe weather out across central western Kansas, up through parts of Nebraska, and then into uh, even South Dakota. So that's the areas we're going to be watching for today. Already, we just have a lot of clouds, some showers, and a few thunderstorms really kind of draping from the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas up through southeastern Kansas, and then now moving into west central parts of Missouri. Nothing very strong or severe, but we are getting some thunderstorms popping in south central parts of Missouri. So let's go ahead and take a look. These guys, so we're looking from Springfield to Branson, uh, even as far back toward Beaver Lake, West Plains, Mountain Home, Lebanon, Rolla, these guys are going to continue to blow up and then push into the boot heel of Missouri. And these will have the potential to be strong to severe. If we get anything severe, the main threat with these are going to be hail as we go into the afternoon. All this mess here will kind of fall apart as we go through the afternoon, but we may see a little bit of a flare up of a few showers and thunderstorms southeastern Missouri into southwestern, uh, or I'm sorry, southeastern Kansas, southwestern parts of Missouri. So we're going to watch that. So a few scattered thunderstorms trying to pop up as we go through the evening hours. And then we're going to watch what fires out here, because that's going to produce a complex of showers and thunderstorms later on tonight. Plus, we got Hurricane Barrel, which is a Category 4, was Category 5, is back down to Category 4. It's just to the southwest of the Dominican Republic. Uh, over the next couple days, though, it's going to head over toward Cancun. So if you are heading there on vacation, you want to keep your eyes on that hurricane as it gets a little bit closer. All right, let's go through the evening hours. The showers and thunderstorms we have right now, central Kansas down through the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas, continue to push northeast. So these are going to push from Emporia, Topeka, Lawrence, Kansas City as we go through the afternoon hours. You can see the storms now, south central Missouri push toward the boot heel. And then we're going to be tracking everything that develops out toward the west as we go through the rest of the evening hours. So here's 9.30 p.m., complex of storms, central Kansas. Those will most likely be strong to severe. Let's go through the night. This complex now pushes Wichita, southeastern Kansas, moving into southwestern parts of Missouri. This is late. This is midnight, 1 a.m., so it could be a little loud across the region. The main threat with these storms that push through tonight are going to be gusty winds and some large hail uh, I do think we'll probably have a few severe thunderstorms, so we need to keep our eyes on that as we go through the overnight hours. Pushing east, southeastern Kansas, west central parts of Missouri, you can see now 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And then these continue to push east towards St. Louis, central Missouri, over towards St. Louis by the morning hour. So the 4th of July will start on the west side, central Missouri, into eastern Missouri. And then most of us clear out. We warm up. Really heat up. There's going to be a boundary or a front from north central Missouri all the way down through southeastern Kansas, all the way back through central parts of Oklahoma. And along that boundary tomorrow evening, thunderstorms explode. These are most likely going to be severe. So now we're looking from the best chances for severe thunderstorms on the 4th of July are going to be from Tulsa, southeastern Kansas, all the way back through Joplin, northwest Arkansas, Springfield. Tabor Rock, Beaver Lake, all the way up through central Missouri, Lake of the Ozarks as well. So those are going to be the best 
or the best chance is to get severe weather tomorrow evening. These storms continue to develop and push east. You can see by 10 p.m., a lot of people doing fireworks. Still ongoing storms, northeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, through Joplin, Springfield, all the way through central parts of Missouri. Then these storms push east as we go through the overnight hours. So now, still strong to severe thunderstorms, south central Missouri, southeastern Missouri, through north central Arkansas, as we go through the night, tomorrow night, into Friday morning. And then Friday, because the front swoops through, look at this. High temp, 82 in Kansas City, 84 in Joplin, 88 Oklahoma City, 90 in Fort Smith. So it actually feels pretty good as we go into Friday. I know a lot of people go into the lake, uh, camping, taking a four-day weekend. Uh, the weather on Friday and Saturday actually look pretty good across the region, which is always good news. All right, let's look at the rest of your holiday weekend. Here's Saturday, still nice. It heats up a little bit more, but still good. Kansas City, 86, 85 West Plains. Texarkana, 96, Wichita, up to 94 degrees. Now, on Sunday, the heat really returns, but also here's our next front that's going to roll in Sunday afternoon. So we're looking at strong to severe thunderstorms again. Central Kansas, Dodge City, Wichita, Topeka, up toward Kansas City, and then this will drop off toward the south into the east on Sunday night, getting in southeastern Kansas, north central parts of Oklahoma, and then kind of pass through as we go into Monday and then Monday shapes up pretty good. So we do have, uh, so the system today and tomorrow, the next one, which is going to move in as we get into um, late Sunday and Monday. All right, let's look a little long range. So let's go to the global predictor. So we're going to, we're just going to use Southwestern Missouri. So uh, let's see here, the rest of the month of July. So starting from the 18th, a little bit cooler. So the colors on the global predictor what this shows you is when they're a little bluer, temperatures maybe a little bit below average, and then the redder the days get, the higher it's going to be above average. So you can see the last week or two really heats up, and we are going to have thunderstorm chances the 23rd that whole week, just kind of hit and miss storms. Let's look at August. You can see temperatures uh, very warm to start the month, a little bit cooler in the middle of the month, and then heating up again late in the month. But here's the good news. We still have some pretty good chances for scattered thunderstorms. You can see the first week, the second week, third week mainly dry, fourth week mainly dry, but we do have those chances for thunderstorms which are going to be in there. If you want to sign up for the Global Predictor, weather2020.com, right there, the top of your screen is $5.99 a month. All right, guys, so I'll be at uh, KOM News tonight, 5, 6, 9, and 10. I'll keep you guys updated. Hope you're having a great afternoon. And if you're not working, taking an early fourth, hope you enjoy it.